గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ వ్యూయర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు కోనసీమ షార్ట్ హ్యాండ్ క్లాసెస్ నౌ ఐ గివ్ డిక్టేషన్ ఫర్ టెన్ మినిట్స్ ఎట్ ది రేట్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిటీ వర్డ్స్ పర్ మినిట్ దిస్ పాసిస్ హ్యాస్ బిన్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద ఎగ్జామినేషన్స్ కండక్టెడ్ ఇన్ ద మంత్ ఆఫ్ జూన్ నైన్టీన్ సిక్స్టీ సిక్స్ సో గెట్ రెడీ టు టేక్ డిక్టేషన్ ఎస్ start you sir mr president have referred to a number of problems in your address you have praised some activities of the government criticized others and offered advice so that we may function better than we have so far done we welcome your advice and the advice of others given with good intentions and with a view to improving conditions in the country anything that you suggest or your organization suggests will undoubtedly receive our most earnest attention i am sure that you don't expect me to deal with the various matters you have discussed perhaps it would be more suitable to the occasion if i spoke to you about certain matters of basic importance for we have to be clear in our minds about our basic social objectives you will permit me to say something which i probably ought not to and that is to confess that during the last few years we have not been very clear as to the direction in which we are going in the immediate present we might realize the importance of a particular step in the broader aspects of policy nevertheless there is a big gulf between the immediate present and future about which in these changing circumstances there is a greater deal of difference of opinion in the country among those who have given thought to it the fact is that vast new social forces or at work all over the world as a result of various developments but mainly because of tremendous technical and political changes in india and asia large numbers of people have become politically conscious and refuse to submit as they did in the past tremendous social conflicts are taking place and they sometimes lead to international conflicts the great nations of the world are following economic policies that differ widely from one another we may have a certain theoretical approach to problems but that does little good unless it is related to the practical aspects of reality our approach must be fashioned by a study of existing conditions and our objectives so that we can apply the idealistic approach 
with a practical consideration of the problems prevailing in the country at a particular time you will permit me to say that it is possible that our approach is a very limited one it is possible that our approach derives from something static that belongs to past and not so much from the proper appreciation of a situation that is changing and dynamic towards the end of your address you referred in general terms to various objectives that we have i suppose most of us would agree with those objectives although of course some may go further than others to say that we want greater wealth higher standards of living and greater production will not be contradicted we have to achieve these objectives not merely mechanically but also in a social sense which is very important i have been driven almost against my will to the conclusion that material well being is just as important in human life as anything else high standards of living are important and we must achieve them but it is absurd to talk of high standards in india where the lowest are sometimes lacking we must have the basic necessities of life and only then can we think of higher standards dear sirs we are in receipt of your letter of the 14th instant regarding the exercise books recently delivered to you we are naturally very sorry indeed that such an unfortunate mistake should have been made and assure you of our intention to put the matter right with the least possible delay the books were sent to you immediately they were received from the printers and in fact were dispatched without our having an opportunity of examining them before they left the premises we know that you have returned the consignment to us and on receipt we will ask the printers to replace the present covers with new ones which will correspond with the ruling inside it is we admit very annoying that you should receive a consignment of cash books marked on the cover as ledgers and especially as delivery had been so considerably delayed any expenses incurred by you will be deducted from your account we have been in touch with the suppliers and they ask us to offer you their apologies and to give their assurance that every effort will be made to return the books to you as soon as possible 
we thank you for your enquiry concerning the printing of programs we are in a position to undertake this work and to guarantee delivery within the time specified in your letter an estimate will be sent to you during the next few days yours faithfully that's all